Hi, Dr. Charles Cobb is here again for BrainCancer.org. We're continuing the lectures on uh, Brain Tumors 101, talking about radiation. And last time we talked about uh, the typical radiation given for someone who has a malignant glioma or glioblastoma, which is a type of radiation called external beam radiation. Typically that's performed by sending fields of radiation like x-ray beams at an area of a brain tumor plus around two centimeters surrounding the tumor to try to get the invading tumor cells. There's a whole nother world of radiation called stereotactic radiosurgery, sometimes called SRS, and one of the most frequently referred to types of that is called gamma knife. Uh, a lot of people get confused because they've heard of gamma knife or cyber knife, and um, these really are not surgeries per se, these are stereotactic radio surgery approaches. So what does all that mean? Well that just means that they, these are uh, sources of radiation that can be given to very focused areas. Uh, and they're basically uh, two or three types of stereotactic radiation. Um, the most commonly heard of is called gamma knife. Another type is cyber knife. And then there's another type called LINAC based, L I N A C. LINAC and cyber knife are similar in a lot of ways. So let me break this down a little bit further and then we'll go look at two of these devices. LINAC stands for linear accelerator. So in the 1950s, a brilliant Swedish neurosurgeon named Lars Lexell wanted to deliver a high dose of radiation deep within a patient's brain to a focused region so that this area got a lot of radiation and the area right outside it did not. So he invented a machine that's shaped like an igloo And on the inside of this igloo are 200, I believe 201, sources of cobalt-60. And we spoke about cobalt-60 briefly earlier. Cobalt-60 is a highly radioactive uh, isotope of cobalt. And if you bore little holes through these sources so that only a little bit can come out in a, in a 4 to 16 millimeter uh, diameter, then you can shoot all of these beams so that they all cross paths like this. And if you do that with 211 sources, you can create a situation where an object the size of a marble, for instance, gets a huge amount of radiation and anything right around it gets dramatically less radiation. And that's the first example of stereotactic radio surgery. Essentially the gamma knife is still in function today and we do an MRI and then a CT scan with a patient in a, in a um, head holder and then the patient is placed inside this igloo shaped device and their head and body are moved around so that they present that area right at the center of all of these beams of radiation. So in this case, the radiation source is fixed and the patient's head moves around so that it can treat that source in the middle with a high dose. What about cyber knife or LINAC based? Well, these are two types of devices where the same thing happens, but instead of gamma rays, they're using x-rays and in the case of the x-rays they're created by a linear accelerator that has huge voltages of electricity that shoot electrons at a tungsten source and that tungsten source shoots out the um, the x-rays and essentially if you have a linear accelerator and you shoot in a ton of electricity 
and there's tungsten in here and you have an opening here that's the size of four to eight millimeter similar to the gamma knife then you'll also have a beam of electrons excuse me a beam of x-rays that shoot out of that source and in the case of the cyber knife or a linear accelerator based system the linear accelerator itself moves around and the patient stays still so Dr. John Adler at Stanford is a neurosurgeon who developed the concept of the cyber knife and it looks like a large bird beak and it's on a, a robot that has several arms of freedom and then a linear accelerator is perched atop that. The patient is lying still in bed and it shoots beams at the patient and moves around so that by doing that it creates exactly the same effect as the gamma knife so that a small area even if it's shaped in uh, odd shapes can be outlined on a computer and then this uh, gantry of the moving linear accelerator can move around and perform hundreds of shots that create a three-dimensional high intensity area while the rest of the area of surrounding brain may receive very little radiation so let's go look at these machines so we had talked about a linear accelerator based on a robot that moves around and shoots beams at different angles and the prototype of that is called the cyber knife. This is a cyber knife. It's a gigantic heavy robot, the same kind of robot that's used to spot weld cars in an assembly line. But in this case you see this massive cable sending a huge amount of electricity up to this part here which is a linear accelerator where those electrons hit the tungsten and get shot out the end of this collimator here. We have different sizes to make the amount of the beam different and this device moves around and the patient lies right here and it shoots these beams of radiation at different angles into the tumor of the patient and there's a rapid fall off in the area around the tumor that does not get as much radiation. And that's the basis of the cyber knife. Here we are at the control desk for the gamma knife, which is the other device which uses cobalt 60 radiation beams that are called gamma rays and they shoot down at one focal spot. This is the uh, control for the machine and we can watch the patients inside. So let's go inside and see the device. So now we are in the Gamma Knife Suite and the Gamma Knife is uh, a device as mentioned it's like an igloo shaped device. The patient lies on this bed their head is rigidly fixed into a head holder and their head is held in position with a frame that's pinned to the skull these doors open here and then the patient is taken in and their body and head are moved into position with a computer and inside this large device here are the 211 cobalt 60 sources that are shooting radioactive gamma rays down into pinpoint accuracy with millimeter accuracy in the device so a patient can go in there and the computer will move the patient and the patient's head around so that their tumor is right in the middle of the, the uh, collision of all these beams as they come in from different angles. And that's how we deliver high uh, radiation doses to small tumors like meningiomas, metastatic brain tumors, uh, etc. Thank you.